Hello, and welcome back to Miss Quick's D and D Risen. We were discussing butts. How was your day going, <laughs> Britt? Who are you? Uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Britt Wiseman, uh, in person and online, and I'm Cher Hex on Twitch, and I'm Lalu Arish, the Tiefling Druid, Circle of the Moon, in this game uh, right here, D and D Risen. I'm great. I love talking about butts with you, Naja, especially when it's butts. <laughs> The Yuri butts. Yuri on ice, guys. Go watch animes. Uh, I don't know. I'm just excited to play this last episode of the season. This is a great intro. Hello. Uh, I don't know who I'm supposed to throw it to. I think it's Kelly? It's Curtis. It's Curtis. Curtis, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm at a loss now. You have so much going on there. Uh, I'm Curtis Weeb, and I am playing King, the half-orc ranger, um, who generally kind of launches into combat before any kind of talking can happen, which has proved uh, uh, especially problematic in our last episode. But uh, anyway, uh, I also write a comic book series called Raccoons, and we have a new episode. You guys are talking about butt fan service. We got the Orc Dave special. There's lots of butt fan service with a Fiona Staples cover. I saw that in my Twitter. (laughs) Uh, And we actually had a fan art of a very sexy Orc Dave in a puddle. So check that out on my Twitter feed. Uh, Over uh, it's lots, really lots, good. A lot, over to you, Kelly. Thanks, Curtis. Hey, everyone. I'm Kelly. I play Yuri Diggle, accountant, adventurer, and friend to all. Uh, if I seem tired, it's because I am. I just flew in from Japan a few hours ago, had a short nap, and now I'm here ready to go. It's appropriate, though, because there's some kind of sleeping curse in the forest. So we'll just pretend that that Yori has that as well. All right. And Neil, how, how's your week going? My week's going pretty great, guys. Uh, I've got a bunch of shows coming up, as I always do. But I'm also launching Fatal One this weekend, which is great. It's a new show. It's a uh, community event about metagaming and beating a dungeon uh, using information that previous people that have gone into this dungeon died getting. Uh, a lot of boffins are going to die for this. But anyway, I play uh, Langus Vulmator, slightly older, slightly heavier, slightly unstable mentally. A <laughs> um, little bit, maybe, I don't know. Possibly. Uh, maybe as unstable as Naja, our DM. Wow, shot. Wow. Ouch. A brave man does this <laughs> the of a D&D session. Uh, and we will see what the ramifications will be after this intro. And we're back. So, when last we left off, uh, speaking of butts, King's pants were, uh, <laughs> he was holding oh, them up as nice. you guys uh, fled Zakilta, the Yuan T alchemist, after Yuri Diggle had a succession of improbably good dexterity rolls. For stealing, <laughs> God, what did you take? The formula. I took the formula and the potion that was supposed to heal yep. our friend Dorm. Yeah. So Yori took those things. Um, Zakilta had unfortunately took a potion of swollenness and was <laughs> way too big to uh, get into the tunnel that you guys flew down. Flew, ran, whatever. You know what I mean. Fled. Fled. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, y'all! It's rough out here right now. You don't understand. It feels like a Monday for real. <laughs> Shit's all ass backwards, but it's fine. Uh, to do so. Ah, here you guys are. You are in Omu. So you pop up in a building. Uh, you can hear the roaring voice of Zod Kilta echoing up from the hallway that you run out of um you're in like a small dusty abandoned home um do any of you speak yuan i think king might 
Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's definitely yelling, get them, get them. They're getting away with the formula, get them. Some things to that effect. Um, and so you, you sense that pursuit is on the way. Um, you're not quite sure where in the city you are. Wait. No, you do know. You're you're actually you're not in a small abandoned house. My bad. You're in that gym. You're in that yes. uh, abandoned oh, gymnasium. Right. Oh, right. It's been a minute. We're working on it, Chad. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> um, but yeah, you pop up in this gymnasium. So his voice is like echoing through that space. Uh, you need to GTFO, probably. <laughs> um, but far be it for me to tell you what to do. What do you do? Uh, I just noticed that I have a flute on my character sheet, and I'm going to play that as we leave. Okay. That's going to make a quick roll to see how I do. Perfect. I'm fluting very well. Um, I'm, you... just trying to, I'm just trying to drown out the scary sounds behind us. It's oh, very nice. quiet, very subtle, very nice. Do you um, take time to do your pants back up? Or are you just kind of like shuffling along? I think along? I left my pants down the hall because they were getting caught up. I didn't have time. That's when I found the flute, actually. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I, there was always this weird feeling in my leg, and uh, I'd always had the wrong assumption about it, so. Okay. Thank God we solved that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the season. <laughs> so Pantsless King is playing a flute. Perfect. Zot Kilta is roaring in the distance. Yori ha is, has two purloined items in either hand. Run! Run! <laughs> we need to get to Jorm! Shh, we do. Oh. Yeah, we left him down there, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. we, we left him um, we tied marked up. the building, though. You did. Mm. There's a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> we, we have to get Jorm. Let's go to him. So we run you back to the building Jorm's in? Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, Jorm, it, Jorm. Jorm is sitting there um, muttering to his side up, uh, still like suffused with this like glowing red mushroom goo. Okay. Secretion, secretion. Um, and he's muttering to himself about spiders under his breath. He's, he's very, he's quite, as they say, shook it. <laughs> well, he's pretty much dead either way. I say we just shove the potion in his mouth and see what happens. Do it! Yep. Potion in his mouth. It's okay, Jorm. It's good potion. Like, I'm... grab his cheeks and squish his jaw so it opens up. Okay. So you dump this potion down his mouth and he like sputters for a bit. Um, and he, he, he stops glowing, which is a good sign. Ooh. But he also falls unconscious. Uh-oh. Okay. He talks less when he's unconscious. It's mm. for the good. Mm true can we carry him i can't i mean you're We've already way. established that and he's wearing full plate armor we gotta get him up get oh well how fast can we get the plate armor off of him i pull out a dagger and i start just cutting straps on the plate armor i'm gonna leave it behind mm -hmm. uh, that's fair yeah so you you take a little time to cut all these straps um i am going to say that jorm is wearing um, underpants that have seen better days, uh, but they are embroidered with tiny little uh, symbols of tear. At least he's wearing underpants. <laughs> yeah, at least he's wearing them. They just say like tear in black letters on the waistband <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. Tiny, oh. tiny little tear symbols stitched on them. By a not very competent uh, embroiderer, uh, you you get the sense that Jorm did it himself in his free time. <laughs> so I'm like the days of the week, but like tier in there, like one tier, two tier, <laughs> third tier. Well, yes. we have two pantsless party members. Let's let's go before any more of us catch this disease. All right. We can't keep going through this building though. We have to go out and then go down the road because through this building was a bunch of like obnoxious hallways and like dangerous rooms. So can we go back out the way we like the exit? Absolutely. All right, is a, uh, who, gentlemen, are you dragging Jorm? I will get Jorm by the arms if, if, uh, oh God, what's your character's name? King? King, if King, oh. if you can get him by the legs. 
Yeah, I, I pick him up by his, the legs, yeah. and I, I kind of feel his legs rub against my legs as I slowly <laughs> lift them up, and I'm like, hmm. Maybe, maybe you should take the arms. Hold on, let me, let too me. Late, too late, we've committed, let's go. Okay, all right, let's go. Chat, I demand fan art. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> um. Anyway, so you leave, you're, you're carrying your friend, and you leave this building, uh, and you hear... Uh, the ever so annoying, like, what is serceration of a snake tail slithering down the street, and you hear, We knew you would come back for your friend. And you, you, you look, and there is a, a woman, a uh, torso and head of a woman, body of a snake. Uh, and she is surrounded by smaller snakes. And she she sneers at you. And she says, you will not take our sacrifice. Dendar must be reborn. Like hell, we're going to let you take Yorm and do something weird to him. Wait, sacrifice? Dendar? What are we? What, I don't What's even Dendar? Know. That is a fantastic question. Who is Dendar? What's a Dendar? She's told us half her plot already. Why doesn't she just tell us the rest? Yeah, please. I mean, you <laughs> could you could roll like religion or history. All right. Someone. Uh, one of you does. could help the other if you wanted to give advantage to the person rolling. Uh, 14 on history? Uh, or I could give you advantage, although I just rolled religion. No, you can't do it because you just did something. A uh, fourteen. You remember. You remember Jorm uh, channeling divinity in the name of Dendar instead of Tear when he was all oh, mushroomed up. That's right. But as a non-native of Cholt, but I, I could maybe roll on it. I'm not great at this sort of thing. Would this be like a history for me, or would it be a religion as well? Uh, they matter. would tell you slightly different things. Um, King's not particularly religious, so he would probably go by history. No, ah, nope. <laughs> you don't know shit about shit. <laughs> <laughs> history starts the moment that I turned 13 in my mind, so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even remember where you left your pants. That's why it's I was lost in the woods mind. for so long. They're in the jungle. I actually don't know where I came from. So how small are these smaller snakes? Um... They're, they're, I don't, I don't know how to say, like normal size, like not terribly big. There's just a swarm of oh. them. So, yeah. Hmm. Uh, if, if you have no further, uh, who the fuck rolls to make, we should probably, uh, Jump on initiative? some initiative. Yeah. I like how we all stand there conversing for like a minute. Just trying to like, have who? you heard of this person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, mm. oh, well, let's fight then. That's what are you doing? Turn it over. There we go. I've been rolling so good on initiative. I can feel the power continuing. Oh, there I am. God damn it. Wow. All right. Let's see what happens. It's because you make it a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> that must be it. Yeah. That senses it. And every oh, time I roll God. bad, Brett rolls bad. I know. Yeah, every single time we're like mm -hmm. chained to each other. <laughs> the bad rolls. Uh, do I have right token selected? I sure do. Oh Bink. my God. We're so slow. Oh, she's super fast. Uh, we're, we're just going to keep talking about who, who Dendar is while you guys do this fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo, swarm of poisonous snakes. There you are. Fantastic. Okay, let's sort this initiative in descending order. Yuri and Snake Lady get to go first. I want to um, shoot her in the head. I will. I will give you the right of first. Thank you. First action because I'm generous. Uh, actually, have we rested any time in between? All of no. this we haven't, have we? I'm only down for HP. Uh, we rested at the start of last session, or in between the last session and the session before that. 
Not against Yeah, I'm Warner. just out of animals, that's why I ask. Okay. Alright, using my short bow against her. 16. A and six... it's still with an advantage because no one's in front of me. Right. Uh, 16 does hit. Nice. Um, so you do 8 piercing. Do, 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 do. Minus 8. Oops. Damn it. That moment when you realize your num number lock isn't on and your <laughs> keyboard does unexpected things. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I, uh, I'm gonna hide behind Jorm's unconscious body <coughs> for my okay. uh, finishing. Give me a stealth roll. Super stealthy. Yeah, you melt into the shadows cast by Jorm's um, chest hair, that's <laughs> right. Um, let's see, what does she do? Oh, fantastic. Um, I could use some healing if she's up for it. She's gonna, she's going to, to lift a finger that, that terminates in a very long claw mm -hmm. and point at Langus Volmator and do this thingy. Bring it on. So Vote you must nightmare. succeed on a DC 13 intelligence saving throw, please, Langus. Whoa. Langus. So glad that's you. Uh, not so much. Not so much. <gasps> yeah, so on a fail save, the target takes 11. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, 2d10. I never take that. The average I always like to roll because it hurts more. 2d10. <laughs> Evil. Uh, yeah, you take 13, 13 psychic damage, <laughs> and you are frightened of this manifestation of your worst fear. What is this manifestation, Langus? The worst fear I have is actually uh, losing my family again somehow, which can't really happen, and I've sort of adopted these people, so my worst fear, honestly, is the people behind me all dying. Aww. Okay. So you you have a you you have a vision of everyone like starting to like choke and suffocate and you you're helpless to help them. Um, let's see. You believe it to be real. Uh, she is maintaining concentration. Um, this this manifestation has a token. It can't move, and it cannot be harmed. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns, Langus. Ending right. the illusion on a success, or taking another two d ten psychic damage on a failure. Oh. I can do that one more time, guys. Oh my Jeez. god! And I'm half down too, guys. It's oh. fine. It's Jorm fine. is just causing a lot of problems. <laughs> 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 Why do we ever bother? Don't Hi. say that about beloved Jorm. Oh. So Langus, it is your turn. Your friends are dying around you. Literally oh, and no! no, I just panic and try and put them back together again. <laughs> and pass my intelligence save. Okay. Yay. Yay. Good job. That was very short lived. Nice um, darn. So this this nightmare melts away and you realize everybody's standing around you looking at you like, could you do something maybe? <laughs> uh, but it's the end of your turn, so you're like, oh, I cannot. Um, swarm of poisonous snakes. Fantastic. No relation to uh, Zisa's snake not, buddies. No, not my snakes. My snakes are good. They swarm 30 feet. Oh, damn it. That's, you didn't do the thing. Where you tell me how far that was. Let's try it again. That's 35, so back square. They swarm towards you. Uh, and a hiss menacingly. <laughs> uh, Lalu. Uh, how far? They're like still far back, kind of, right? I mean, you they're 40 feet from us. <laughs> yeah. The snakes. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I should probably. Langus, do you need healing? Yes! Oh dear God, it hurts! <laughs> I feel like you got really scared, so I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. Oh, my buddy. 
Only I guess, oh, that wasn't super helpful. For, is that a total of nine? Yes. That's nine, right? Okay. Yes. Not too bad. Um, right. And then I think we'll do, let's see. I could produce, oh. Hmm. 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 I could cast Flaming Spear and shoot it at them. You could do such or a thing. Or Moonbeam. I think I'll do Flaming Sphere so I can move it around a little easier. So I'm gonna... Flaming Sphere. Yeah, let's do yeah. some Flaming Sphere. Love okay. that Flaming Sphere. Copy. Let's do this. Boom. Mm, basta. Move Wait. to player layer. Uh, Rick, can you verify that you can move that around? Please? Yep. Uh, oh, there it is. Boom. Right in the snake face. Okay. Give me that flaming sphere damage. Okay. It's not doing it. Oh, no. I think it got screwed up when... Um... Uh, um... Do you know what it is? Or should I look it up? I feel like right. it's 2d6, but let yeah, me. Yeah, I think it's 2d6 fire. DC 13. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just a baby fire right now, guys. It's a tiny it's, fireball. Wow. <laughs> it's a little batch. I just coughed a little. Well, they they, they do fail. They're safe. Nice. So, uh, Eat they it, take snakes. Four. They're, they're singed very You're on fire now. A little tiny bit. <laughs> that's my that's my turn. <laughs> King. Keep that fireball right next to him. Uh, I feel like every time I charge forward, I get horrifically massacred. Um, but I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on uh, Snake Girl. Okay. And uh, I'm not very effective. Uh, I, I should heal myself, I guess. Do I have any spells left? I don't think I do. No, I'm gonna cast one, not two now with Hunter's Mark on this. And we haven't had a short rest. No, I don't have any spells left. That's all I got left. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't, I'm, all, I'm half dead, so I can't charge forward. Uh, I'll bravely step through the line. Oh, how do I pick up? I'll bravely step through the line. It's 5, 10, 50, 20, 25. What is the range on these tridents? Is it 30? I can't see it on my sheet here. Um, uh, I'm searching. Up. Trident. Trident uh, has, it says range 2060. 2060. Oh, come on. One, two, three. I'll run up and heal you more. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to last. I feel like I'm going to be, yeah, okay, all right, all right. Uh, fine, I'll, I'll I'll just do it. I'll oh, charge. God. I'll hurl one of my tridents at the uh, the thriving snakes that are burning. Oh, I'm getting uh, the same thing. Uh, it's not working. Uh -oh. mm. Okay, so I'll. Uh, well, uh, what's your damage bonus? Uh, my damage bonus is one d four plus uh, one d six thing... plus four. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say since 1d6, so and I secondary is 1d6. 27 ah, uh, to hit. Yes, that's a hit. Nice. And I get to add my... Oh, that's not on there anymore either. Oh. My extra damage, my giant slayer. Your, your Colossus thingy. Colossus slayer, yeah, it's not on there anymore. Oh, is um, that the secondary damage? Yeah. It's, this says it's 1d8. Oh, there we go. So, uh, give, me, give me your main damage, and then your... Colossus Slayer is an attack bonus or a damage bonus? It's a damage bonus. Okay, yeah, you need the rest of the damage. Oh God, just rolling <laughs> terrible. Well, we're okay. slow and useless, Curtis. <laughs> yep, that's we either really really good at what we do or really <laughs> or bad we really at what we suck. Do. And always in tandem. Yep. Um, so I did roll the other damage bonus, so eight damage total. Mm. Yeah, you like pin one of the snakes to to the <laughs> the street. It's a little like crisp snake kebab. It's it's cute. Oh, I might pick that up later. So I step back five feet. All right. Anything else? Nope. That's all I got. 
Yuri. Um, what is the, what, what's the cost of like throwing a potion to King? Is that, a, is that just like my full round? Is that, can I do that after I fire my bow? Um, I will rule that throwing a potion to King is your bonus action. So you wouldn't be okay. able to do any of your roguish um, I'm still hiding right now, but I'm gonna go shoot for the snakes that are on fire just because they're getting closer to us and King's gonna die eventually. Ooh, oh, but I have advantage. You do, because you're <gasps> hidden. Oh, nice. Nice. So you hit them for eight as well. And then for my bonus action, I toss my remaining potion to King. King, awesome. as I yell. Perfect. Hopefully you turn around. <laughs> I turn around and I, I grab it out of the air. Do I grab it out of the air? You do, you do. Okay, there, is, there is no fumbling at this range. <laughs> she was trying to lob it over a house maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're experienced adventurers. You can do All these right. things. Um, so Snake Lady is going to move first. How far can she go? Uh, 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 really? Oh, okay. Uh, she's gonna come right up behind her snake, snake bros. Um, and I don't know that she has any further. Oh, well, JK, she can. Um. Oh yeah. This is. Guys, I'm having so much fun with this character. No. <laughs> she raises she raises a palm and she's gonna cast Eldritch Blast. What? Freaking You probably wanna you wanna hit a group. So you know you don't wanna hit King, you wanna hit a group of people. Oh no, you, she's definitely hitting King. No! Damn it. She's definitely gonna shoot Run. King. Um, okay. Can I retroactively so, dive through this window? Just, just <laughs> uh, I will not allow you to retcon a window dive. I'm sorry. Uh, so, let's see here. Her spell. Da, 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 like, I'm gonna make the save. Kind of deal. This so to hit, roll d20 plus three. That's a ten. I want a twenty. Let's see. Thank you. Wow. It has been a very long half day of work. 15? Uh, I mean, yes, that does hit. Uh, okay, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. I guess. Uh, do, 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 if damage. you wanna go by real math. <laughs> if you do the subtraction, it's still a positive <laughs> number, I suppose. I guess. Uh, and that's eight points of damage. Okay. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. It's fine. All right. She's, she's casting it at a lower level. I mean, it's, I still only have six hit points, um, but you know, I'm still up, and I have a healing potion in my hand. So I'm on oh, my she way. actually she's proficient. She's supposed to get a plus five. No. To attack rolls, it's fine. Um. So yeah, she she slithers up, raises her hand, and blasts King in the chest with some eldritch powers. By the power of Dendar, I command, may I you? <laughs> uh, Langus, you finally got your poops in a group. What would you like to do? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move up adjacent to King. And I'm going to hurl a dagger. Uh, it's a ranged attack against the little snakes, the baby snakes. Mm -hmm. You hit for uh, five. Five points of damage. All right. Nice. There's there's very few left in this form. All right, Langus is done. Okay. Uh, poisonous snakes are going to get out of the way of this fire. No. Um, <laughs> and they're going to do, 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 roll up to Langus. Uh, I keep accidentally closing this character sheet. Bad matter. Um, and they're going to use the version of bite where they have less than half. 
No. That's a miss. Wow. I assume. A nine doesn't hit. Yeah. So they swarm up and they're like kind of crispy and stiff from the fire <laughs> and they try and like bite at your ankles. Doesn't work. Lalu. Bad snakes. Uh, so I'm gonna run up here and heal King. Gonna cure his wounds. Oh, please. Boom. For five. All right, well, well, I did what I could, man. That's, that's for me? Or that's yeah. For, all right. I, I feel a little bit better. I got you I'm, five. Yeah. Uh, it's I, not I, great, I'm... but, uh, and then I'm going to fire blast this snake lady uh, in her nice. in her snaky face. Give me so, that flaming sphere damage. With that flaming sphere, I'm like, hey, hey, take hey. this. Hey, hey, you. Oh, damn it. I forgot. I can't just click the button. Oh, my God. Hold on. It's fine. Was it 2d6? Yeah. 2d6, please. You mean 20d6? <laughs> <laughs> Any advantage. Ah, it's better. It's a little better, yeah. A little this better. Inch, this is not Shadowrun. It's a little warmer. I'm heating it up. Um. Okay, and she's going to do a dex swing. So, it, like whizzes like right past her as she like undulates out of the way but she's still singed four four points of damage um so, so much easier ask... if she had human legs and a snake head <laughs> <laughs> um for people asking in chat that symbol uh is to remind us that she is hunter's marked um anything else uh no, I think I'm gonna move. I'm gonna m just move my sphere. Once it hits her, I'm just gonna move it back like a little bit so that if she does come up, she has to like go through the sphere. Nice. And it's also five feet within range of the snakes. If they okay. enter, it's turn there. There, now I'm done. King. Uh, just quaffing a potion, is that a full action or is that a bonus? Uh, believe it is an action. Question mark? Second wind is a bonus action. Is that what you said? No, uh, the, no, the potion. drinking a potion. potion. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not even related, but thank interesting you. piece of thank information about the game. That <laughs> thank you. Thank you. This has been your random tidbit. Of info <laughs> Fun facts, Neil Erickson. Fun facts. Um, I feel like I should probably take that potion. If it's a bonus action, I would definitely take it. But I'm kind of contemplating. Um, but if do you, do you say it's a full action? Um, Neil is researching it right now. I, I am researching presently. Okay. Um, um, but in any case, the healing is two d four plus two. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will take that. Whatever it. it would be so two d four plus two. Uh, it doesn't say specifically. I would expect it to be a standard action, though. Yeah. Most things usually are. Mm -hmm. All right, so heal another eight. Mm -hmm. And I am going to promptly dive through this window. Shh. Even if there's no glass there, it makes that sound. And then I'm going okay. to, um, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, I am going to rule that that is still is within the flaming spheres area yeah, yeah. of effect. Okay, um, if, I, if, if I wouldn't walk into the floor, I, maybe I would. I don't know. Oh. I mean, just go a little further. Okay, then I'll just go here then. Yeah, you only have to be yeah, one square that's, away. That's safe. Uh, yeah. If you stop there, you take damage, but <laughs> okay. you can walk through it. Um, yes, there's a door there that you could peek out of. Perfect. I, I don't peek out through it yet, but um, I may in the future. That's okay. my action. All righty, uh, Yuri. Uh, she has Hunter's Mark on her, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna shoot a bullet at her then. And Hunter's Mark grants... D6 damage, additional. All right. And I have you sneak hit. attack? You do not, you're not hidden and no one is. I thought Jorm was in front of me. 
You but you did oh. you took your bonus action to throw right. a potion. Right. <laughs> Not to be she, a she sees you now. Uh I think I get a bonus sneak action though. Mm. If uh I don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within five feet of oh, but no one's within five feet of uh the snake lady. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh so ten damage plus one d6? Yes. Uh, not to be a negative Nancy here, but I think Hunter's Mark only works for the person who placed it. Mm. Cool. Okay. Uh, thank you. you. You are doing your job as the rules no, officiant. Totally Rule master. I was thinking of like video game terms. Usually the entire team gets the effect, right? Yeah. All right. Well, then 10 damage to her, and then I'm going to uh, hide, but a little bit further away from Jorm. Maybe yeah, it is just a little, me. A little trash can behind here or something. <laughs> And I will roll stealth. Hmm. That is not a good stealth. Okay. But it's better than her passive perception. So <laughs> mysteriously, she still can't see you. Um, and snakes can't see you either. So you like duck behind Lalu or like a trash can or something. And everybody's like, what? what? Which way did she go? <laughs> dumb snakes. Uh, yeah, they're real dumb. Turns out, um, Nightmare Lady is going <laughs> to hmm die. She's just gonna quit, leave, give up. Uh, no, I think she's gonna Eldritch Blast Langus again. Ah, uh, bring it on. Let's see, D twenty plus. Five, eighteen. Ooh, spot on. Damn, that's and exactly what I. Another eight damage. Bam, Eldritch Blast. I'm a warlock. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Fine, it's fine. I'll be fine. You get a blast, and you get a blast. <laughs> She's kind of entertaining. <laughs> She's um, like just trying to make friends with us. She doesn't understand that it's killing us all. Yeah. <laughs> Pain this is how we Come on. And she's going to duck around this corner because somebody keeps <gasps> shooting arrows at her. And she's not a dummy. Yeah, she is. She is. She, she is. can't see the orc man's <laughs> Langus. All right, I'm going to start with a, a second wind. Oh, I should probably be clicking on my token before I do that, though. Okay, I'm just going to roll a d10 plus four. For five additional hit points. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack the snake. It was uh, a, it, you get a little second gasp <gasps> of health. <laughs> 13 to hit, seven to damage. Uh, it's baby snakes. You, snakes. They swar swarm out of the way of your long sword. What? No, that is not a hit. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, snakes are going to reprise their attempt to bite you. Oh no. Dwarf. Oh, they're much Ooh. better at it this time. Oh, Ooh. they just go bananas Ow. on those legs. Cut it out, Ooh. you little snakes. Um, give me a constitution save, D10. Okay. DC 10, rather. First off, I also on, reduce damage by three, and then a con save, my friend. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nicely yeah. done. On. So you Nothing. take two piercing damage and you take five poison. That is rough. This is Dang. the most wounded I've ever been. Thank. It's not a good look. Uh, Lalu. Oh, give those snakes some fire damage for ending their turn. Within oh, they range sure of my do. My flaming sphere. Take look at me that. remembering stuff on the I'm very so last episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I rolled so well. <laughs> Thank oh God, God I remembered it for those two points. What is happening? This one point. Ugh. Wait, what? Your DC is 13, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's 13. They take a single point of damage from the oh, fire poof. Little. Those little snakes. Those little snakes. All right, well, guys, I'm trying here. Uh, I'm going to heal Legus again. How many yeah. spell slots do you have left? So that he does not die. Uh, I believe. Let me double check. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I cast Flaming Sphere. Let's see. I have four first level spells. Mm -hmm. So now I, I cast two times, so I have two left. 
And you didn't cast any spells in prior combat. I don't think I cast any before. I think all I did before was turn into animals and lasso people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I used any other. I'm just I'm just trying to keep the bookkeepings. Yeah, I don't believe so. I've been keeping record of it on my spells. So you've healed twice and you've cast Flaming Sphere, but that's a cantrip. Yeah. So I should have two more first level spell slots so I can heal another time. So I'll do that. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll actually roll well. Perhaps. Eh. Eh. You get four back, Langus. Well, Langus, you might die. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack these snakes again because I'm really upset about the last attack. I'm basically going to slam this fireball into them and then just back it up within their range again. All right, give me that flaming sphere damage. Nice. Nice. Get out of here. They take four. Are they dead yet? Come on. Come on. Um, Come on, are they dead? Literally, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I. That's my whole turn. So. All right. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to leave. Well, can, if I move the flaming sphere around the corner, can I have King help me with where she is? If, I'm sorry, what? So, like, instead of leaving the flaming sphere right here, can I like send the sphere around the corner and have King tell me like when to stop the sphere so that it lands next to her? Or should I just How move do you it communicate I can move it this request to King? I'll just yell it at him. I'd be like, <laughs> flames coming around the corner, tell me when to stop. <laughs> I'd just be like, do, 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 do. You've got six seconds to take all of these actions. So <laughs> literally right. this all happens I'll in six seconds. I'll leave it back here. I'll move it again. You like slap Langus in the back of the head and you're like, feel better. And then you move your flaming sphere. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it. I'll leave it then. I'll, I'll get it on the next one. It's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. I'm done. I'm done. King, you're in the dusty abandoned house peeking all out right. of the door. I dramatically kick the door open. Bam! And I walk out in the street. <laughs> I run in a straight line. As I'm running, my trident is right here. So I pick it up while I'm in a run, hurl it over my shoulder and I hurl it at her. And uh, then I close the gap and all you see is King go, woo! And then he runs past and hurls the uh, trident and then closes the space. I'm just going right in. This is oh a terrible, God. terrible idea, but it is also the last session. So this one. That's true. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I can't do the throne thing on you guys roll my own random dice here. So. I have one more cure roll. I think I have a healing potion too, so I can always give you that. Also, this is the most magnificent streaking story in the history. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, that is true. <laughs> Everybody down the alley just sees King run pantsless across <laughs> the intersection. All right, so I hurl, uh, I roll a 14, uh, throwing my javelin before That's my a hit. trident. Before closing the gap, that's a hit. Oh my god, I missed it. Now. Okay. Um, 1d6. Plus four. And has she been hurt yet? She hasn't, has she? She has. Oh, perfect. Somebody is putting arrows in her. Oh, that's right. All right, so 10 damage from the trident hitting her. Mm hmm. Uh, another three for the hunter's mark. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. And another seven for the Colossus Ooh, Slayer. 20, hey. wow, a mighty Ooh, blow. Take her out. Yeah, you just like, like the trident sinks into part of her snake body. And she's she's uh, very, she's very gas. She's upset about this. This has been the worst day in her villainous career. I kind of I kind of lean in as I get real close to her and I say, is there any part of your body you don't want me to use for parts later on for my armor? And like, is there anything that's not cool? She like pearl clutches. Is just like Ugh. it's gonna make happen. it work, man. It's gonna happen. Um, Yuri, there is some uh, like bizarre things happening around the corner. Ever. Yeah, a lot of bizarre things going on. But there's some <laughs> toasty snakes right in front of me that I feel like I should be able to kill off pretty easily. And I have advantage, but it's only twelve. 
Oh, no, wait, I didn't even hide. No, I did I hide? You hid behind, you hid uh, poorly, but they still couldn't see you. Um, but a oh, 12 thanks. was a miss. Okay, damn. Uh, I'm gonna take my bonus action to shoot them again, though. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's better. Oh, that's better. Um, nice. Yeah, you, you, and you kill the last of them with an arrow. You like skewer three in one shot and they're oh, pinned dang. against the wall. Ooh, tasty. Snake right. barbecue for everybody. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. Um, oh no. Snake lady oh, no. has this uh, pantsless man uh, <laughs> inquiring about her body parts and that's not what she woke <laughs> up for today. Whoa. Um, it is now. Uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep. She will attempt to constrict. Does a 15 hit? Uh, hit me? Yes. Uh, yes, it does. No, okay. Okay. So her snake tail whips around and wraps around your, your naked <laughs> legs. Um, and... They'll get advantage because they're a little bit oily? <laughs> uh, no. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Worth a shot. No. Uh, and then she pulls her, draws her scimitar with her other with one of her arms oh, and no. slashes at you. Oh, oh damn. Am I so, also grappled or do I get a save for that one? Don't die, bro. You are grappled. It's a DC 14 mm. escape. Next turn, okay. Yeah, so 14 damage total. Um, She's not I'm enthused getting about. Mixed I'm getting mixed signals from her right now. <laughs> this is a way of her it people. It seems like she doesn't want you to take any of her parts. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no. <laughs> uh, Langus, there's will, increasingly weird sounds from around the corner. <laughs> I will come huffing and puffing down the rest of the alleyway until I see this abominable sight. Um, yeah. Five, a close yet yeah, deadly embrace is in progress. Five, yeah. I will move all the way to here. I'm going to stay here. Uh, and take a slash with my longsword. 17 to hit, nine to damage. That's a hit. Then I will action surge and longsword her again. That's another hit. Wow. Damn. She hisses her rage at you. All right, I'm done. Oh, I want to, I don't know, is it, it's not because it's added to the damage, I think. When I hit with a, oh, an attack, I want to do pushing. On a hit, expend a superiority die that is added to the damage. Strength save, DC 13, or be pushed up to 15 feet. So I get to add another D8 to my damage, another seven to my second hit, and she's gotta make a DC 13 strength save or be pushed up to 15 feet away. Oh. Okay. Push her right um. through that window. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to have cover against Yori. Oh, uh, good do, idea. Do. Well, you are hitting You'd have to explain to me that how you hit her left side and she goes flying to the like. So the first attack comes and it's a, a straight forward hand slash. And then my bonus action, my second wind is to make the, the backhand slash against her. So my blade should be coming like this way on the second attack. Cause it first swipes that. And then on the second, it swipes that. That makes sense. Now it's just a mess. Okay, I will allow it um, because you took the time to narrate and draw pictures and I appreciate that. <laughs> My pleasure. So she fails her strength save. Um, she moves one, two, three this way and is pushed out into the oh. corner. However, the range on her constrict is 10 feet. So she still has king. You know, that's actually better. I meant to push her the other way, but I like this positioning much, much better, even if oh, she's still constricting. I thought that's what you were going for. <laughs> I, I was trying to break the constriction to push her down the alley, but uh, but now uh, she's in like plain sight of all of our buddies, so. Do I, do I go yeah. with her? No, you're still there. You're still all in right. range of her constrict. She has oh. quite a long tail. Long tail. Um, all right, uh, the snakes are quite dead. Lalu. Yeah. Um, uh oh, let me just double check this. Uh, okay, so as my bonus action, I can ram her with the sphere, and I'm going to run up to her 
I'm gonna ram her with the sphere, and then I'm gonna hit her with my scimitar. Okay, so give me so, the sphere damage yeah. first. Boom. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, good girl. Uh, 13 is a pass on the DC 13, I believe. I think so. Yeah. So she takes half of that. She's quite wounded. Give me your scimitar goodness. Right. Let me see if it'll just... Nice. Nice. Ah, Die. yes. She does. Slice uh, and dice. Nice. Boom, boom. Let go of my friend. Yeah, her tail goes <laughs> slack from around your apparently lightly oiled naked orc legs. <laughs> um, and she falls to the ground. Joran Damn. snores uproariously from down the alley. Uh, <sighs> all right. That's what Yorm does. Does the snake lady have anything on her value? A scimitar. Eh. It looks like she, like yeah. she's hastily dressed now that you have time to look at her more closely. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if she might've been sleeping somewhere and was like, oh, gotta stop the good guys. All right. And, and slithered. Does anyone else have a best. potion left? We can't rest. I have two. I have some healing potions. Should we drink them and then just head out as fast as possible? Uh, I guess so, I, yeah. I hand one of them over to King right away. I'll, uh, okay, I'll take, is, is just the uh, 2d4 one? Uh, maybe uh, 2d4 I'll just keep plus it. two? Maybe I'll just keep it. Are we gonna rest or are we gonna, gonna still keep going? Let's keep uh, going. Let's keep going, please. We have to get out of this town. So can I, I, roll. Can I, as we're leaving, just pop those fangs right out of our mouth? Yes. Okay, I snap those off. Nice. Put so I just roll in. 2d4 plus 2, Tris? Yes. For, okay. Healing okay. Great, your rolls today. Is I that know. for me or that's for yourself? Uh, that one's for me, okay, so you I'll can roll it, you roll your own because okay. he gave it to you. Cool. Well... Six back, all right. Well, Slightly back. It is what it is, Curtis. Why are our rolls so bad? Terrible. I so hand you bad. my second and last healing. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure, Langus? I. I no, no, you're no good to us if you die right now, and we need to save Yorm. All right, all right. Uh, we're slowly creeping up. <laughs> I mean, on a two d four, that's not a bad roll. That, that's oh. a very that's, average roll. It's true. <clears throat> I have one left if we end up in a position where anyone needs it too. So. <laughs> it. Okay, so you guys gather up Jorm and continue to flee oh, the city yes. of Bonus. Yes, let's drag, yes. keep dragging this problem along with us. Yeah. I mean, our friend. <laughs> this is dead weight. This is dead weight, well, literally. Jorm snuggles his head into into King's abdomen as King picks him up by the arms again. Oh, That's nice. That's like that. nice. You make me feel uncomfortable the way you hold Jorm, no matter what side of him you hold. <laughs> It'll just make us better friends when he finally comes to come. He still has, Trust like... me, I'm bonding right now, okay? It's called, <laughs> where I come from, it's called bonding. <laughs> He still looks like pretty bad, right? Or no, he I guess we wrapped him up in all of that spider web. Yeah. The the mushroom stopped growing out of his eyes started yeah. to wilt. It's that's fine. Got so many problems. <laughs> don't think that's actually a good sign, but anyway. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> all right. So we get the scene of you you guys trying to hustle, carrying Jorm out of the city of Omu, and we will figure out eh, if you like try to step to Jasmine or just ask her to help, it's unclear. We'll find out after this break.
and we are back. So we come into a scene of you guys in the jungle, huffing and puffing. I believe uh, let's arbitrarily say that it's getting close to dawn. Uh, Cause I don't remember what time it was. If any of you do feel free to volunteer. It was nope. nighttime? <clears throat> Question mark? Was it? I don't know. Sounds yeah. right. I mean, we were underground for a while, so. It's true. Oh, it's, either, it's either twilight or dawn. Somebody okay. somewhere looks to either the east or the west, and they're like, obviously hmm. it's that one, and no further is said about it. Um, <laughs> You're so you're in the jungle. It's kind of dimly lit. Jorm snores in his uh, potion-induced slumber. Uh, you all are variously dressed and undressed, uh, variously injured. It's hot still, always. Never forget. What would you like to do? What's the plan? Like you've got this. You've got this piece of paper with a formula on it in in some sort of cipher. All right, guys. What are we? What's what's the next step here? We got. I say we just give it to Jessamine. Get out of this goddamn island. And, hey. and sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's King, King I don't Dom. know. Lalu, can you like turn into a bear and carry dorm? Not right now. Okay. Oh wait, because we didn't rest, right? No. no. I cannot turn into anything. Mm. Unfortunately, my druidic powers only allow me to turn into things two times between sleeps. This is we, very uh, arbitrary. <laughs> how far, There's no how long did it take us to walk to the city of the Yuanti from the main port? Yeah. Oh, it took you guys quite a few days. Uh, it took King a lot less time to catch up with you. Hmm. Well, maybe we could make a sled. I think we can invent that level of technology here. Maybe we can strap some branches together with this rope that I have and put Yorm on it and then put the other end of the rope around King like an ox and he can just pull Yorm through the forest jungle. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Fine. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna keep a lookout while they start doing that. I don't so know good so someone that. give me a survival roll to uh, fashion <laughs> a sled from branches and such. Oh, like. I will do I've that. I've got this. No, this is my oh, idea. Shit, I already did you will I not do, do that. I, I can do it. <laughs> you do it. Lalu picks up one stick, picks up another stick, and is like, <laughs> Why are uh? we all so bad today? <laughs> You're having a rough day, man. I can make this happen. I, oh, no. Uh, it's okay. Leave it to the adults, Lalu. Now, <laughs> if I take this stick and this stick, I can... I got an 11. Um, do I, do yes. I step in? Does and... anyone you, know you what just, a sled looks like? You just push <laughs> them both out of the way and fashion something that, that while not uh, the sturdiest, will work as long as you're very careful <laughs> about what you drag Jorm over. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, boy. Going out uh, real <laughs> Langus is like, here. maybe if they're perpendicular. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, don't know what a sled is. I'm just pretending. <laughs> Is it a rock? <laughs> you, don't need a sticks, bee, right? you don't need a beehive to make a sled. Put that down. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We've been moving for quite a while. Can we rest and take like shifts for watch? We probably should. Especially because Lala needs her spells back. I mean, we're li so what? We're going back to Jessamine and. We're going back her. to Jessamine, and we're going to use this recipe to try and get her to heal Jorm. Okay, and then get the get the hell out of there. Exactly. Yeah, we got to get out, get away from Jessamine. We got to end this thing. We got to get away from her so I can get home and murder all those people. <laughs> yes, that's exactly <laughs> what we're going to do. Yori. You told me that's what we would do. Yori. Yeah, well, yeah. So you know something like that. I said something like that. We got to kill those people who wronged me. 
Mi mm, okay, we'll talk about that later. Right now, let's think about Jorm. <laughs> we, mm, yes, we need to save him. He has done so much for us that I can remember. All right, uh, <laughs> let's rest. Yes. I feel like I feel like we wasted those potions. Then though, maybe we should keep moving. I I feel the same. Okay, let's like... keep moving until we get tired. How long have we? Yeah, been that's fine. Before? I still have. I can still hit things with my scimitar. You can march on a bit longer. All right, let's get further away from the town. King, please lead us in the, the proper way. <laughs> I'll try to follow the same path that I took uh, to get here. Okay. Leading them along that path. Um, there's a check involved because you're dragging Jorm on a sled that, while uh, usable, is not that great. Athletics? Come on. Yeah, give me an athletics check. Oh, Ooh. you're fine. Oh, we're you're good. Fine. Super oh, fun. nice. I just, I just take that sled and I smash it over my shoulders <laughs> and I pick him up. <laughs> put his bare legs right next to my face and we off we go. There's like an awkwardly long shot of King's thighs like bulging. <laughs> as he marches Storm's through. Storm's thighs bulging on top. <laughs> <laughs> little pieces of dead mushrooms like falling off. And a little trail that we all follow. <laughs> when, when we get Jorm back to this place, can we promise to leave this island? Yes. King, I'm sorry, but I'm so done with this island. I don't know how you've lived here for so long. I, I, I never really thought about it. You, you must understand that history on this island didn't really start till about 13 years ago, so it's all very new to me. <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> you're, you're just successful. <laughs> 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 I, I, to be to be honest, I'm quite willing to leave as well. It, it sounds like you might need some help, Lalu. I, yes, definitely. All right. All right. And, and then it just goes silent as we march for 12 more hours. <laughs> march, 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 you do. Um, your journey back through the forest, or sorry, <laughs> the jungle. Oh, so hot. It's, it's hot. It's I love sticky. It. I'm super comfortable. Um... Let's see, what was that check for getting infected with jungle diseases? Yay. Hmm. It's like the mad monkey disease was fine, right? Right. Nothing mm -hmm. bad mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I would like to take a brief moment and say for as much as you guys complain about the hardships that I put you through, <laughs> none of you has died. We have That's barely true. escaped death like a dozen times, though. That's also true. That's called excellent balance, and you're welcome. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, you killed it's, me in my pre-story, so you had to kill one of us, just not actively in the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, everybody give me a DC... Well, Constitution save. I'm not gonna make this one. I already know it. Oh God, it's just too much. Yeah, called it. Let me see. Hold on. God, if only we had inspiration. If only. Oh. <laughs> oh Yay! my God. Yay! Wow. Just keep Is rolling. This a joke? Wow. Shitty rolls. I've never seen everyone do consistently this bad. You guys ever well, roll a three? Because I have like a million <laughs> times today. Um, so of the, the gross jungle diseases I can give you, I will opt to be merciful and not give you throat leeches. Aw. Oh, thank you. That's You're welcome. Um, but you do, you're revisited by the dread shivering sickness. The shivering sickness? Yeah, you you, you all feel um, cold. What? You, you must have a very high fever. You know, this is actually kind of a nice break to the hot sweat. <laughs> Not to me. I don't understand why I'm cold. <laughs> Tieflings don't get cold. You're, you're a little... Something must be wrong. You're shivering. You're a little uh, disoriented. It's like having like a really bad fever. Your vision's a little blurry. You have this like 
foggy pressure in your head and you like stagger into Port Nyanzaru. Sounds like the end of Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just walk into the alley. <laughs> yeah, you stagger into Port Nyanzaru. Um, King, remind me, how did you leave the uh, arena prison? Uh, I fought my way to glory. You fought your way to glory, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, so you step, you step, you you have this uh, man over your shoulder and you're like shivering with symptoms that you as a native of Chult recognize. Yeah. And somebody's like, oh, it's King. And like people start whispering and like there's this like almost like proto paparazzi type situation where people are like gathered in little groups murmuring about you. And um, noting your lack of pants, but it's fun. <laughs> what by the God's name? It's been like a day. You still <laughs> haven't put pants on? <laughs> I wore what pants. Get out. You Who's you pants? Have a spare pants. <laughs> yeah. You want to roll survival to make some leaf pants? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't you, think so. You, sir, are you a fan of King? She points to a random person of the audience. He says. Uh, have you heard the story? Of course. Of course, but you know, you, sir, are, are, you can help us. He is in desperate need of pants. Please lend us your pants. <laughs> uh, give, me, give me a persuasion, man. Yeah. Please lend us your pants. I flex my quads just to make it, you know, a little bit more difficult for her because nobody oh, wants to see these go away. I'm so persuasive. He says, he says, I could do nothing less. Of course, of course. <laughs> and he puts down, like, the, the, the basket of I don't know, fruit, mangoes that he was carrying and like undoes his pants and like hops out of them and like wow. comes up to King and like offers them with a little bow. Um, they, they look like they'll, they'll fit, do you think? Are, are they, they really tight? Are they really I tight? It's, they're going to be pretty tight. He's okay, I'll, wear, the, I'll tight. wear those ones. I'll wear the tight pants. <laughs> if they fit, no, but tight, yes. I pull them it's on tight, and you can hear yes. them squeaking a bit as like... <laughs> They're kind of like skinny jeans. It's like leather pants on your oily Tight pants legs. body rolls. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> the man says, this has been an honor to me and my family. <laughs> I will tell my grandchildren of this day oh. wherein the hero king took my pants. <laughs> I, I go to this, sir, and I give him uh, five gold, and I say, thank you, sir, for, for this honor, and continue walking. He's like, this is the best day ever for him. <laughs> He will never forget the day that he was paid oh, well. coin to For give his, his pants. pants to King. This is, <laughs> it's amazing. I make an impression. So they're Indeed. just really tight. Are they like making a squeaking noise when he walks? They are. <laughs> I tap Yari on the shoulder and I say, thank you. These pants might be the best thing that have ever happened to me. No, no King, thank you. <laughs> from putting them on. We're all like delirious and have like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You guys are super fucked up. Um, oh, so do you, give do us you... your pants. Oh. <laughs> oh. So do you go back to Jessamine or do you go elsewhere? Yeah. Let's, let's have a little chat before we go back to Jessamine now that we're safe in the city. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I mean, can I drink my healing potion to get over this? sickness, this illness. Oh, um, yeah. I'm so ill. How do I get Can we better? rest in a tavern before we see Jessamine? Uh, do, do, do. You can rest in a tavern. I'm just looking at the- Am I, Are um, we like having hallucinations or we just feel really bad and really like, feel, feel weird? You feel real shitty. I'm just like, no. You're tired, you're feverish. Oh man. You're disoriented. So what, what did, Jessamine send us to do exactly. I don't I don't remember with this fever. She wanted to cure her decrepitating zombifying or anti-zombifying, I don't know. Right, she right. Just <laughs> the scroll that had the recipe on how to fix her. And For so, the death curse. And that's what we got. Yes. yes. Yeah, we got so that. We've accomplished the mission yes. exactly the way she wanted it. You know, we've got the Sort the, of. <laughs> sort of. She wanted us to kill Za Kilta. We didn't do that, but that's fine. We can just tell her that we did. She doesn't know. Yeah, she doesn't we know. probably shouldn't lie about that sort of thing, but Maybe we could. Not. 
We could just give her the, the thing and say it's taken care of. We're not giving it to her. We're going to use it as leverage to heal Jorm or to do something with Jorm. Yeah, okay. We fix Jorm. We didn't drag him all the way back here. Uh, also, me, please. And, Are yeah. you broken? Wait, what? Yeah, she- I'm, I've got the same thing that she does, I think. Yeah, we're both feverish and sick. No, got- no, 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 no. Oh. Just me. Oh, hers. Oh, You've the got death the death curse? curse? Are you yeah. dead? Wait, this is- wait. Wait. We, yes, we talked to. He's dying, dude. He told us this. We talked when about it. I took off skin. my pants. I took <laughs> off my pants. We talked about this. He took I... his pants off. His first layer of skin came off. Guys, he's dying. He's I was distracted by things at that moment in time. I did not hear the words. I totally his understand. His kneecap is poking out through okay. a hole in his pants. We gotta help him. Then, yeah, <laughs> we'll use we'll use all the leverage. To, we'll do it. We'll fix it. We'll. I want a nap. I want. I want to just sleep and close my eyes. Okay. Feel better. This sounds good. Can we? Is there someone like uh, what do you call them? not palanquins, but um, like little couriers that we can flag to like take us to Lady Jessamine? Oh yeah, the walk. people with like the the the, the the wheelbarrow behind them. I don't know what to call it. Um, there's a term. I used to know. Servicemen. The people with like the rickshaw thing. The rickshaw. Yeah. Rickshaw. Right. Thank you. Boom. <clears throat> You're welcome. Rickshaw. Yes. I, wanna, I am I a human dictionary. Rickshaw folks. <laughs> and then pay him a few gold to get us to just means I, I'm tired of walking. Can you, can you please put this death cursed man wearing tight pants into your rickshaw? We all have a fever. <laughs> oh, put right us in next, your rickshaw. Right next put to us the in mushroom there. man without pants, please. Let me in your rickshaw. <laughs> yeah, um, as as you have so astutely noted, you all look sketchy as fuck. <laughs> You're all quite sick. Um, Jorm is even more sick appearing and naked. Uh, you somebody make a persuasion roll to I, get someone to good, carry you to Jessamine. Good sir, good sir, you right there. I, you know, mm. I feel like you're one of the strongest people in all of Port Nyanzaro. Do you feel that way? I feel like you're contagious. No, but sir, I we're not. I just we're like you know a little sweaty. We walk through the jungle. It's all good. But I just want to test your strength, sir. I feel like people doubt you a lot, and I want to I want to prove that you, sir, are one of the best rickshaw runners in all of Port Nyanzaru. Do you know who we are? Do we're, you know who we are? We're famous. If you do good with us, you do good with the world. He looked very confused, and then shrugs the shoulder, and he says, "Double the fare." Uh, what? Yeah. Okay. What, what is the fair? <laughs> I don't care. Get in. So uh, he'll probably charge you. Like the fare is not that high, um, but none of you would know that because you're not from the city necessarily. So he probably charges you like a good five gold. I pay it happily. Fine. It's fine. So and he's like, he's like, wait, 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 wait. That man. He fine. wants me to carry all of you. Yeah. Sir. One man carries carry us all. Five of you. But look Come how on, strong man. you are. And she squeezes his muscles. Just like I couldn't do that. None of us could. Ma'am, do that. ma'am, don't touch me. You're highly <laughs> contagious. <laughs> I'm just behind you, Oregon. Come on. <laughs> it's let fun. us in. I'm already like piling people into the cart. <laughs> Starting to add random strangers that are just on, He walking. says, I will carry it. everyone except the fat one. You walk. Wait. He's, he starts what? pulling his rickshaw. <laughs> I flag down a different rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So af- after Whoa. this um, this comedy of errors, <laughs> you guys you guys pull up to Jessamine's place. All right. I jump out and just like open the door and walk in. Yeah, that, that was only a block. That was we should have yeah. just walked out. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> we we literally go like fifteen feet. <laughs> <They're on corner. laughs> All right, you're here, huh? Well spent money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We've all taken the short ride of Ubers before. <laughs> yeah. Don't act like you haven't. <laughs> yes, um, I mean. Like, and the guard like it's like Ugh, and runs inside uh comes back a few minutes later uh and Adahi is, is trailing him he says oh oh my good friends you've returned from the oh but you look so unwell 
my, you must have had some adventures. I can't wait to hear all about it. Uh, would, you, would you like to come in, have some refreshment, perhaps? That'd be great. to fix our friend. Yes, please. Yes, and, and bring some tea for Jorm. He's coming with us. Jorm, come here, buddy. Come here. That, why, that is Jorm. He is um, redder than the last time I saw him. He's bad. He's not good. Fix him. Hmm. Hmm. Well, um, we do owe you quite a debt. Uh, why don't I take you to some rooms and you could have a, a lie down for a bit, yes? Yes. And we will talk about this uh, fixing of your your newly red friend, Jorn. Yuri uh, we- takes the recipe and clutches it in her hands so no one can steal it from her. Yeah, Adahi doesn't notice that you have some like raggedy piece of paper. Um, he ushers you up to some rooms and he's like, now you rest as long as you need to get better. And uh, I will alert my lady, Jessamine, that you have arrived back from your quest. Lovely, lovely. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for anything that you need. I uh... will. Quite. Uh, I'll just leave you to it. We're <laughs> you just are, fevered, sorry. right? I'm just making noises because I figure I'm just like, wait, trying to like politely wait for him to stop talking and I just like want to go lay down. I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> So Adahi bustles out of the room. Uh, do you all rest? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so at the end of a not long rest, an affected creature can repeat the saving throw. So, constitution, oh. once again. Yes. Nice, nice. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, son of- How unfortunate. Oh, man. Do I have to roll anything else today? This is not good. Oh, you just miss <gasps> it. Ah, oh, close. You're close. Guys, I rolled um, a double digit. It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Langus and King, you are right as rain after taking a long rest. Um, Yuri, first, Lalu, you still have a nagging cough. Um, maybe another another day or two will make you feel better. Lori, Yuri, you still feel like shit. Ugh. That's what I say. Okay. I mean, same, TBH. Um, so, yeah, you you guys wake up from your long rest and uh, the servants lay out a wonderful breakfast for you. Some nice chilled uh, fruit juices mm. and probably some like smoked meats. Uh, they don't eat anything that requires heat in the morning because it's already hot enough, God damn it. Fair enough. And Adahi comes into the parlor where you're breakfasting, um, wearing a resplendent violet robe today. And he says, oh, yeah, you are uh, somewhat improved. Our companions aren't getting any better. I think it mm. might be serious. Do you, do you have a remedy? My good sir, you are in the home of one of the fo- foremost apothecaries. On Chelt, of course we do. Uh, I will talk to my lady, Jessamine, and see if we can secure her expertise in helping your friends uh, recover from their journey. Thank you, good sir. Lovely. Um, Do you, um, I don't know how to ask this delicately, but were you successful in your journey? We got Fix them stuff. first. We'll let you know afterwards. Oops. <laughs> he looks between Langus and Yuri. I'm del- don't pay no mind to no. her. She's delusional right now. I got, I got the food stuff. It's over here. Delicious fruit. It's amazing. Oh. Quite. Uh, let me talk to Jessamine, and uh, it is only right that we uh, worry about your health first as good friends of this house. Thank you, you my good sir. Um, after you guys are cleaning up for breakfast, uh, Lady Jessamine herself enters the room, trailed by uh, a fluttering Adahi, as he tends to do. And above her veil, her eyes kind of scroll back and forth between all of you, and she says, it appears some of you have become ill. And you've brought one 
other afflicted friend of yours to my home. I hope that this mushroom transformation is not also contagious. We have no idea if it is or not. <laughs> it's not. All of us look to each other like, oh god, I don't even know. Nah. Mm. I look to, to King's neck. Is there any like uh, ringworm growing or anything on his? <laughs> nah. Okay. King has the same problems he had before you encountered Jorn. <laughs> Just weird rashes. Mm. Jessa Moon, does, uh, we, just, <laughs> listen. Whoever you are. We got, we, we found it. We, uh, we, did, we weren't able to kill him. We found it, but we're not gonna give it to you unless you fill these conditions. One. Oh. Fix King, he has the same problem as you. Mm. You get healed, he gets healed. Two, fix Jorm. He's, mm. He has mushrooms on him, it's gross, I don't like it. <clears throat> Put pants on him as well. That's number three, put pants on him. <laughs> number four, get us a boat off of this island as soon as possible. You don't even have, you know what? I don't even want gold. I said it, I don't even want gold. Well, that does change the equation quite a bit, yes. If you can solve these problems for us, we can solve your problem. Well, I can definitely acquire pants for your friend. <laughs> I, one down. Great. I can you are definitely. You a woman of immense power. I am. Uh, pants are well within my purview, as is a boat. Okay. Uh, but that's two. That's pretty good. Those are the easy requests. I will do my best to help your friend King, as King is afflicted with the same problem as me, and I could use a subject for. Uh, experimentation, testing. Could have, you could have phrased that better. You, mm. you just had to try a little. King, are you? Is that? Are you okay with that? I mean, I'm probably that dead anyway. Fine. I'm dead anyway. It's fine. Well, you are literally. As he dead. says, I cannot make it any worse than it already is, <laughs> unless I do whatever has been done to your friend with this mushroom business. What can be done to, to Jorm? That is the most difficult problem for me to solve. I first have to understand what has been done before I can undo. What if, what if we leave Jorm here on the island with you? Could you? What would I do with him after I fix him? Experiment and fix him, and then send him off the island. Mm. How long will it take? Do you think? Again, I must tell you, I don't know what has been done to him. I have never seen a, a luminescent fungus growing paladin before. But leaving him here with you and you can do research on him and potentially fix him would help your cause as well, right? Oh, I stand to learn a lot. Yes, as to whether or not I can fix him. Hmm. I looked me. Do we still have like a bit of the, like any little bit left of that potion that you Choked down his throat, even, even just a small amount? No, I was no. frantic and shoved it down his throat. Okay. Now, we are at an impasse because if I had some notes of Zakiltas, perhaps I would be in a better position to both experiment on your friend King and fix Dorm. However, you are withholding all information unless I fix your friends. We were just hoping, my dear lady to understand, to make sure that we would get our fair pay. We have these notes for you. Um, they might be a little sweaty. This is Chult, everything is sweaty. <laughs> Yuri uncrumples the formula that she has, that she's been clutching onto since leaving the Yuanti city. She like holds it in front of Jessamine, but doesn't give it to her yet. I want you to try and do what you can to fix Storm. I give you my word, such as it is, that I will do my utmost to return him to his non-fungal state. She gives the recipe. And yes. Jessamine picks it up in her gloved hands and looks at it and tisks. Ah, uh, Yuan T ciphers. They are not impossible to crack, but they are tedious. 
I will take this to my study and do my best to unravel what, excuse me, what has been written here. And hopefully, unless, unless any of you have been able to decipher this. Well, hopefully it is the information we all seek and not some love letter to their snake god, Dendar. But we will find out. Dendar, hold on. Someone was talking about Dendar recently. That's the uh-huh. god they worship. Hmm. Yes, the Yuan-Ti have some fantasy about bringing their dead god back to life. Oh, no, that that's I right. don't care about. No, you should personally. care. They're trying Elm. to revive it. Ooh, that's what right. they needed Yorm for. Yorm was going to be the vessel for them to revive their dead god. Ah, sacrificial vessel. So you definitely need to fix him now. Otherwise, snake god comes back, right? Awful. No or one wants that. Kill him and destroy the vessel. You already put. Mm, I will. I. Mm, I will fight you. All right. <laughs> Listen here. You already gave me your word. What good are you without your word? You're a dead lady. What are you? My dear halfling, I gave you my word, such as it is. And as a former assassin, my word is flexible. But, but, no need to descend into fisticuffs over the breakfast table. I will still try to help your friend. But if it comes down to the resurrection of a dead god or his life, Rest assured, I will cut his head off myself. Grizzly, very grizzly. You are wearing body parts from several creatures. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was just talking about the meat. It's very grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> but delicious. Hey, guys. How long do you think it'll take for you to decipher this and be able to fix yourself and King? Well, deciphering it will be the work of an afternoon, experimenting on King and myself to find a stay of execution. Because understand, I don't work magic and I cannot lift this curse. I can merely stop the rotting. Is that okay, King? Yeah, as long as it's not affecting me anymore, I don't care. I can... Put us both in a bit of stasis, as it were, with regards to this rotting business. All right. Yeah, I'm down. If I could do better, I would do it for myself. But perhaps, perhaps someone else in the city is tasking some other plucky adventurers, such as yourselves, to deal with that situation. But that's neither for here nor now. So I will take this letter this this paper back decipher it uh and experiment on your friend king and see what may be done for your friend jorm in the meantime i will task adahi with the easier uh demands that you've made of us namely pants for jorm and a boat for all of you a boat once everything is done with king we won't be leaving without king Understood. In that case, uh, my good Sir King, would you too like a perhaps slightly larger pair of pants? Um, No, why? (laughs) Merely curious. I bet you were. (laughs) That's how I took it anyway. (laughs) I give a long nod uh, over to uh, Yori. I, I, I know. I know what's going on. She's hitting on me. <laughs> so uh, Jessamine retires to her study to decipher and begin working on a cure for, or cure a uh, treatment for her and King. Um, and Adahi goes to find pants for Jorm and get get him uh, decent uh, for public scrutiny once more. Um, as as this unfolds because this takes some days what do you guys do like what's the montage look like yori's asleep the entire time ah you would like to make another constitution roll yes (laughs) no (laughs) oh my god 
So you, you do get better because it takes a long time. You do get better, but it takes a while and you're fucking miserable (laughs) the entire time. All right. That's my adventure for the rest of the time here. (laughs) Uh, Lalu, would you like to try Mm. and recover as well? Well, if I'm going to heal over the few days, I mean, I guess I'll sleep the first day and try and recover, but if it doesn't work, I'll just get up and uh, start bumming around town looking for stuff to use when I partake in my revenge, because now that we have no immediate things to worry about, all I'm thinking about is how I'm going to gain revenge on my enemies. Oh, Oh, yeah. Your thoughts of revenge. Oh, uh, they heal me. Mm, fire mm, your soul. Mm, that fire, you that bloodlust. Ah. Yeah, so you, you you guys like sleep on the first night and Lalu jumps out of bed like, I finally, I need to kill all of them. And she like rushes out <laughs> to get supplies and Yuri, you're like, I'll help. Yeah, you, you do that. <laughs> I all- actually, when she steps up that she needs to kill people, um, I actually say to Lalu, uh, cause I'm feeling pretty good. I've healed up. I think if you have long-term plans of killing a lot of people, you need to train. And the best way for you to train is for us to enter the fighting pits again, make a bit of money, get a bit of training. You a bear, me a king. Let's make it happen. Ah, so the arena master gets his famed bear writing or oh, yeah. back. The crowds wanted it. Oh yeah. I couldn't deliver it, but that's wild. what they wanted. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's a reunion tour in the arena. <laughs> every time we every time we fight in the arena, all I can imagine is the people who ran me out of town and how we will one day gloriously attack them <laughs> as a team and how they'll all be sorry that they were ever mean to me. You basically are going to beat up all the people from your high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I, I mean... Part of me wants to beat them all up and part of me wants to just like go back and find forensic evidence that I didn't, in fact, did not purposely burn down the library. But right now I'm just consumed with anger. So okay. I just imagine them all like wanting to be friends with me after they're afraid when they see that I'm a bear and I can hurt them. Because that's how friendship works. Uh, <laughs> Langus, what do you do? Uh, Langus alternates between resting back on a comfortable couch eating grapes and sipping wine and then feeling really guilty that his friends are like sick and dying while he's doing this then getting up and pacing around and trying to like help them but there's nothing that he can do so he spends the rest of the day pacing then wakes up the next day and relaxes until you know mid-afternoon when he's like oh my god i've done nothing with my time and look at your he's got mushrooms coming out of his face <laughs> um, so productive so Jessamine uh, experiments uh, as she promised and probably at the end of, she's working on it night and day, probably at the end of like 10, 10 days or so, uh, she comes out of her laboratory and she says, I have a treatment for King and I. Jorm will take quite a bit of extra other work and perhaps some divine consultation but for king and i this this salve the salve 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 solve solve Solve. i never know if it's like salmon or (laughs) right sal salmon (laughs) whatever She, she this ointment this ointment will serve you must apply it every day i have also included a recipe should you run out until this blasted curse is lifted, this is what you must do. I would caution you that as you have uh, discovered, we being spotted in Okitake is not the easiest fungus to come by. I happen to have a steady supply in your friend Jorm, but you will need to be more cautious and how far you stray from the sources of it I if have you want a, to live a, the fanny pack that i still have of it because i like didn't give her all the ones mm-hmm. they dry out and then become useless or are they still useful when they're dry uh, the secretion is the important part mm-hmm. i would suggest bottling it somewhere where the dampness can't escape okay can you help me with that? 
Yes, yes, I can help you with that. It's a rudimentary task for an apothecary. Now, for your friend Joram, I will consult with various priests because his soul seems to be tied to this Dendar figure. And the issue of separating the two is slightly above my skill level. And probably all of yours, unless any of you are a high cleric. No? Particularly devout? No. That's not super devout. That's, no, you're describing the opposite of me. Slightly yes. devout, slightly, just not super. Mm. No. I will have to pay the temple for this, but you have refused your gold reward, so we are even on that score. Now, as for the boat, do you still want to leave this place? I think leaving Jormy here with you is the best option that we have. So she looks at her team. You guys ready to get off this island, King? Bye, Jorm. I'm already leaving. <laughs> You're on the mm, boat already. Bye. I'm already walking. I'm like on the boat. I'm like, hey, guys, what are we doing? What are, what's, what's the hold up? Send Jorm to the same place that we're headed and uh, tell him to inquire with the all the local inns. We'll leave a message for him so he can catch up with us. Mm, excellent. And if we haven't heard back from him in a timely manner, we might come back asking questions. (laughs) You are more than welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice. Very very nice. Jessamine, this was a, a, you know, something. Indeed. I've had many somethings in my life. Both before and after I was resurrected. Okay. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so you guys join Lalu Come on, guys. on the boat. Uh, Adhi is like sniffling I'm already into trying. his handkerchief. I have like no strength. I'm already oh. trying to shove off. Adhi's Come like, on. Bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'll miss you. <laughs> you know, Adhi, thank you. Thank you very much. I am I am proud to have assisted you in your quest to save my lady Jessamine. Oh, well, yeah, whatever. It's on the boat. <laughs> and so you guys sail away to your next adventure. Now, I personally don't know if you guys will be reprising these characters for season two. I don't know anything about season two. Because I'm not jamming it. But I will be very curious to hear about uh, what what you all do next. But will not demand spoilers while I yet rest in this place of power as the GM. <laughs> <laughs> there so will, there will be announcements regarding season two uh, in the coming weeks. Shortly, we should be starting up again soon, and I believe Curtis will be our uh, DM for that one. So we'll switch roles a little bit. Uh, Kelly and Neil are both, and I are all sticking around. So we're going to add a new player, so Naja can take leave and. And go do some other role-playing things. She has many, many things. Naja, thank you for taking the time to run this game for us. It was amazing. I don't know what I'm going to... You and Curtis are the only people who've ever DM'd me, so it's a good thing, Curtis. (laughs) 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 I'm like, I I have two DMs and then you have to play with. Um, But uh, yeah, thank you so much. And you guys, just keep an eye on the D&D Twitter, the Miss Clicks Twitter. We'll, We'll have some announcements regarding season two coming up shortly but yeah Naja, amazing as always thank you oh thanks um since you'll see everybody else at the beginning of season two do you guys have any last words for season one besides break just just want money (laughs) we turned it down I know, but it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. I was sick. I had a fever. Okay. I wasn't the right choice. You weren't thinking straight. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't really have any last thoughts. I'm glad that I survived to the end. That's a surprise. Yeah. And thank you so much for jumping in. Yeah. Uh, mid, midway through. Yeah, yes. No problem. I've had a good time. Yeah, Curtis, thank you for joining us halfway through and also for DMing you guys. If you haven't seen Curtis DM, he DM'd a Rat Queens two shot. Uh, earlier this year on Miss Clicks and it was it was fantastic. So it's really fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. 
All right. Neil, any last words, buddy? Uh, you know, it was fun. <laughs> I hope we get a chance to reprise these characters because I like Langus. I don't want to give them up yet. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's all I have to say. I'm just waiting for next season. Yes. So um, I thank, thank all of you for being such gracious and patient players. Um, when I'm snickering over goblins that can't see through their own masks because they're writing basilisks. Just just for my own enjoyment, not because it's good encounter design, I rely on <laughs> you guys to not flip the metaphorical table. What was your favorite <laughs> monster? Nadja, what was your favorite monster attacking us? Um, Probably the zombie T-Rex that vomited other zombies. That's what I was going to say. Flail was, snail is a close second, though. Flail <laughs> snail really is fun. a very close second. Flail snail is pretty good. I like the um, idea of the montage of King and I just like beating down flail snails while we wait for things, <laughs> while we were waiting for our people to heal. Yeah. yeah. The snail where the entire strat is to just stay away from it because it's really slow and shoot it with arrows. And you're like, nope, I'm a bear, charge. And I was like, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Um, and as always, thank you to all of chat. Uh, and I will start the round of outros with myself. I am Nadro Tikor. I have been your DM for this short jaunt through Chult. Uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter at Trist underscore CHI. Um, and as Britt mentioned, I'm going to be looking ahead to some other role playing projects. Uh, if you want to see more weird stuff and like pantslessness and straining thighs check it out check it out <laughs> uh, Britt hey it's me Britt Wiseman here on Twitter and Sharehacks on Twitch and thank you guys so much again for watching chat thank you for helping us with the rules and just being overall entertaining to interact with um yeah this was a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to starting season two soon um and now you guys can go buy i think annihilation's out now so you guys can grab it that's what we were playing we're doing a little bit of a homebrew spin on it but uh yeah if you liked the show go get that because wizards is awesome and they provide us awesome content um and i hope everyone has a great weekend and it's curtis's turn hello everyone i have curtis weep i played King and I had a good time. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to taking these characters. Hopefully, maybe we'll see into some new adventures. We'll see where that all goes. Um, my other life, I am a comic book writer. You can check out my series, Rack Queens, which is out right now. Uh, I'm also writing Gears of War, which will be out in January. And uh, that is basically what I do. You can find me on Twitter at Curtis J. Weeb. And um, sometimes I stream, not very frequently. I, we were doing a Star Wars game for a while, but I got lazy. So anyway, uh, that's me. Kelly? Hi guys, I am Kelly Link, also known as Hello Kelly Link on the internet, such as Twitch and Twitter. Uh, I had such a fun time playing Gory Diggle. Uh, I'm excited to see what season two is going to hold. I just came back from Japan, so I'm sorry if I seemed a little tired today, like literally landed a few hours ago before the show. And I'm going to be going to New York Comic Con in less than a week, and then TwitchCon in like a week after that. So it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun month. But everyone, thank you so much for just joining us and, and being a part of this, because like, I mean, streaming D&D, it's also our cast, but it's part of the, uh, the community as well that joins us. So thank you for being a part of it. Neil? Hey guys, I'm Neil Gallery, Koibu Pass Erickson. I know it's a mouthful. Uh, and I am really happy to be on like, season two. I really look forward to playing Reprising Langus. Uh, for myself, I do a bunch of D&D stuff on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Koibu. You can find me uh, at Koibu or at Koibu Zero pretty much all over the place. I've got Heroes Graveyard here on Saturday on twitch.tv slash D&D with Trump. And I don't know who our full cast is this week, but a bunch of people. And then I've got Fatal One, which is premiering on Sunday on my channel, Sunday morning, 10 a.m. And that'll be an ongoing series as well. So that's all I've got to do, Naja. And that will do it for this session and for season one of Miss Clicks d d Risen. Say awesome rules chat. You guys are the best. I'm going to miss you. Also catch me on my other projects when I decide what they are. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.